Good morning, you guys. I have been watching makeup tutorials on YouTube since I was a little girl, and I'm finally gonna do one. Nobody asked, and I don't think I even really have some good tips for you guys, but this is how I do my makeup every single day, basically for my whole entire life. Nothing has changed, and I should probably adventure out, but this is what we do. So I start off with this MAC serum that they sent me and you know usually when I get makeup I don't honestly try it because I'm stuck in my ways but this stuff has I don't know what prompted me to try it I love it it makes my uh, skin like really smooth so once we have that glowy base I've washed my face moisturized my face I can now begin this is my ride or die foundation I have never used anything else for my whole entire life maybe I like to use the Claudely Beauty Elixir because I saw another influencer use it, so now it's just what I use. It is back to the rainy weather in Vancouver. I'm looking at my window right now and it's fully rainy, but I do like it because I get to wear my winter jacket, so that's exciting. But guys, comment below what kind of videos you want to see me making, what you want to see on this channel. It's definitely a different type of content than what I'm used to because on TikTok, everything's so fast. I just like speak, post it, speak, post it, whereas like, YouTube is a lot more curated and it's kind of more work a lot more difficult for me to like think about what to say I feel like I have to be more thoughtful. Does that make sense? It's kind of stressful, but I am enjoying the process I warm the foundation up in my hands and then we just go in with my fingers and we just put that everywhere My makeup takes me about 10 to 15 minutes every morning Look how nice my skin looks just from doing that It's really really pretty. I really like it after that, we're going to use a little Tarte contour stick. All the contour sticks are the same in my opinion. This is just what I've been using lately because it's right there. It's what I've been reaching for because I don't self-tan my face. I don't like it. It makes me kind of break out and I feel like it makes my skin uh, blotchy. You guys, how often do you change your beauty blenders? Because that's a question that I should be thinking about. <laughs> like, I don't think I've changed this for like four months. The other day, Brad was like, I was doing my makeup and like I hate when people watch me do my makeup which is funny because I'm filming it right now but he was like I watch your videos like I know what you do and I was like you watched my watched your videos on your makeup tutorials I was like what that is the most embarrassing thing ever okay so next we go in with the Patrick Ta stuff and he says that you're supposed to start off with the light and then go in with the dark sorry the wet and the dry and that really freaks me out, but I'm gonna try to listen to him because he's a makeup artist and I just love him. This week, the main focus that I have is just um, filming an ad for the pop-up that we're doing. I want everyone to like know the opening day and it'd be really clear what's going on because we're getting a lot of questions and DMs about that. Whatever. That's this palette, I really like it. This is the She's Bronzed. I'm gonna try to tell you the names of everything because you guys always ask me that. Okay, next we're gonna go in with this Maybelline concealer. This is in the color 100. And this is like so grade 7 of me, but I've just used it since grade 7 and it works for me. We just buff that out just like that. Wow, you guys, I kind of sound like a makeup artist right now. I really want to get my makeup done by an artist because there's like so many talented ones in Vancouver. But I honestly am just like so nervous for that. I have like social anxiety about it, like sitting and getting your makeup done. And I got my makeup done once when I was in grade 6 and it was really ugly. And so now I'm like paranoid, you know, like... I'm gonna get my makeup done and hate it, and then what? And then what? I guess it's not that big of a deal, and I need to get over it. I stop being a little baby. I love the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. It's my favorite. I veer away from it all the time. This is in the color Happy. I put a fair little dollop of that on my skin. And then I use a beauty blender to blend it out. And like, this is gonna look really pink, you guys, but trust me, this stuff just, like, blush disappears off your face. If you're a blush girly, you know that it just disappears. There's nothing you can do. When we talk about Zara and why the customer service is so bad, like why are the staff at Zara so hateful? <laughs> like, I'm sure they're nice people, but when they're at Zara, they are not nice people. And I just don't get it. Like, is their manager really rude or something? Like, what's putting them in this mood? Because I've never had a Zara sales associate who's like, hey, how are you? Or like, thanks for shopping. They're always like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what is that? And trust me, I would know because Zara is my favorite store. Like um, half my wardrobe is from Zara. I don't know why they haven't sponsored me yet. Probably because they're such a fast fashion company making billions every day and they don't need a sponsor. So after that, we're gonna take this stuff that every single girl in the world uses. Take a minute and think about that Laura Mercier, like the chokehold she has on the world. And you're like, what 
young girl doesn't have this. We take this little powder puff that I got off of Amazon and we bake and shake. I like to carve out my contour on both sides. This also helps me from getting uh, really oily because I am an oily girl. Oh gosh, I just remember that I'm going on a date tonight so this makeup is for all day. We're gonna get a little eyebrow brush. We're gonna brush our eyebrows up. I love to do my eyebrows but I like to keep them very natural and light. But I have this weird thing where you know when sometimes you look at a girl's eyebrows and you're like, girl, did you even look in the mirror? But she's like, her mind doesn't see her brows because she's been doing them like that for so long. Does that make sense? So then I'm always like, is that me? And I'm always like, Sydney, do my brows look ridiculous? I kind of butchered that because I was talking to you. This is the Tarte. Um, it's actually an eyeliner, but I use it because it blends really well. It's in the shade Rose Gold Luster. And I just brush up what I put on there. And that's literally all I do for my brows. My... That's the look for that. Okay. Look, the skin is glowing. We're looking... Like, I just... I feel like... It looks good. This little brush that I get. I use random brushes. This is a Tarte brush. Every once in a while, I switch my brushes out. Trust me, that's one thing I do do. All this stuff underneath my cheek. You guys, am I a makeup guru now? Okay. Now, this is a controversial step, but I've been doing this since grade whatever. So, you take the Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade 3, 3 tan. And I take the, th the bigger side and I just put that like everywhere. What's an uncomfortable feeling? What's worse than wearing a white turtleneck with your makeup on? What's worse than that? There's nothing that, that will keep me up at night, that feeling. And my favorite blush in the world is Winter Kiss by Kylie Cosmetics. It's so pretty. Look at this. This is like my favorite kind of pink. When you're pink, like, what's your favorite color? It's that pink. And then I put this on top to kind of set the liquid blush that I had on. Like I said, I like a lot of blush because I swear blush falls off your face. Lately, I've been using Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the glow kit, and I just ruined it with my thumb. Jesus. But I take the two lightest shades. I've had this since grade six. I probably don't even sell it anymore, but just get a sparkle and put that on your little high cheekbones. You have to push your eyebrows up, so I use the CoverGirl um, liquid gel. And I just like this feeling of like the wetness on my eyebrows, and then it pushes them up like that. It is, I use whatever. This is the one we're using today, Tarte um, setting spray. Okay, we're gonna be using the MAC. This is in the color Whirl. And I just put a little bit on, nothing crazy. I like to try to overline a bit. Like that, and then I'm gonna put on this MAC lip gloss. One thing about MAC's lip glosses is they are always so thick and juicy, and like I love a sticky, thick gloss because they last so long. Like this is gonna last me until like 2 p.m. Yeah. that's the look pretty much let's do my hair now so i'm going to be parting it in the middle today's look is going to be a low bun because i'm wearing like a vest and a turtleneck and i just want my hair out of my face especially when i have like a lot going on in a day and then from there i'll either keep it a low ponytail or i'll put it in a bun with a little clip but that's pretty much my look i need to hurry up and get to work now so Thank you so much for tuning in you guys i'm really having fun making these youtube videos please comment below what you want to see me make next but bye for now